Okay, so this is chapter four from William's book, Approvals and Deferrals. So the learning objectives for this chapter are that we need to understand the purpose of adjusting increase and describe and prepare the four basic types of adjusting increase, prepare adjusting increase to convert assets to expenses. You convert liabilities to revenue, accrue unpaid expenses, and accrue uncollected revenues. These are the four types of adjusting increase. Explain how the principle of realization and matching relate to adjusting increase and explain the concept of materiality. And then prepare an adjusted trial balance and describes its purpose. So first we need to understand why are, is there the concept of accruals and deferrals in accounting. Basically, our accounting is based on the accrual system. That means that we're going to record it. We're going to record revenue as soon as they are earned and expenses as soon as they are incurred. Whereas cash can come before or after the actual transaction. The timing differences between cash flows and the recognition of revenue and expenses are referred to as accruals and deferrals. Adjusting entries assign revenues to the period in which they are earned. So you're going to book something as a revenue when you have earned it. By earned, we mean when you have provided that service or when you have sold that product, you have earned your revenue regardless of whether you have still received the cash or you will receive the cash in the future. Similarly, Expenses are going to be recorded in that period in which related goods or services are used, not when you're making the payment. So an expense is an expense regardless of the fact that have you paid for it or not. So if I have workers employed with me and they have worked for a month, even if I do not give them the salary for that month, it is my expense. Because the workers have provided me with their service. Similarly, if I have sold something to uh, someone and that person has still not given me the amount, it is still my revenue because I have sold that thing and that person is going to pay that amount to me in the future. So in theory, a business could make adjusting entries on a daily basis. But as a practical matter, these entries are made only at the end of each month's accounting period. For most companies, adjusting entries are made on a monthly basis. And this is what we're going to follow in all of the questions that there, you will see that we will be doing monthly adjusting entries. Now, what are the two types? So the main two types are accruals and then we have deferrals. And within these two, we have one for expense and one for revenue. Similarly, we'll have one deferral case for expense and one um, deferral case for revenue as well. So in total, there are four cases of accruals and deferrals. So by accrual, we mean that the revenue or the expense has already been incurred, but we have still not received or paid the cash. So the cash over here is pending. That is your accrual. Deferral means that your revenue or expense has still not incurred. However, you have received or paid cash in advance. So you need to remember that, that by deferral, we mean advance payment. Now, either you have received the advance payment or you have made the advance payment. For accrual, we mean that there has still been no payment at all. So either you have not made the payment or you have not received the payment. 